Live with your daily dose. First up, just when we thought all we had to worry about was the latest Middle East crisis or the latest on Hurricane Sandy's cleanup, good old General Petraeus comes in with a sex scandal. Thanks, dude. So what can we learn from Washington's latest scandal? There's three things, nation. Number one, anything you say in an email probably will be held against you, especially if it's an email catfight concerning our nation's top spy. Secondly, even the most powerful of men can be brought down to their knees because of a woman's envy. And lastly, nation, military groupies do exist. <laughs> Who knew? So, is this the end of beaver fever as we know it? Despite taking home great wins last night, like Favorite Artist of the Year and Best Album, last night's AMAs were the lowest in history. Definitely not news the Beavs needed to hear after his rough breakup with Selena. Hang in there though, Swaggy. We still love you. This just in. Hostess, the iconic maker of the Twinkie, just announced this last Friday that they didn't have enough employees to keep their company afloat. Even though they might be able to find a buyer before bankruptcy court, I wouldn't hold my breath. And, despite rumors that Twinkies last forever, they're only actually good for 25 days, so I'd stock up while you have the chance. Alas, poor Twinkie, we hardly knew ye. And after being a founding member of the ACC for the past 60 years, the University of Maryland is opting out to join the Big Ten and its lucrative television network. This move will make Maryland the 13th team in the Big Ten, is that right? That's weird, I guess they're not there for the math department. Well, that's it for your daily dose. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Have a great day.